good morning good afternoon and good evening so today i got galaxy note 20 having exynos chipset and i have flashed the one ui 6.1 ported rom and white 14 already on my mobile phone i checked the rom first of all i would like to thanks to the developer who ported this one ui 6.21 doing a hard work for the Galaxy Note 20 series having Exynos chipset. One UI 6.1 ported ROM is working very perfectly on the Galaxy Note 20 series. The Galaxy AI feature is totally operational, functional. All the Galaxy AI features working with the One UI 6.1, the ported ROM for the Galaxy Note 20 series and the rest all the things that coming with the latest one ui 6.1 that features are working in this port or on the galaxy note 20 currently i have note 20 but this rom the volcan version 2 will work on same galaxy note 20 note 20 ultra single rom file for the galaxy note 20 and note 20 ultra but we need to download the Odin pack file according to the model that the links are provided in my video description. The fingerprint scanner is working. The face unlocking is working. The Galaxy AI features are working and the translator is working. I have checked the translator they, with the different languages that are currently available on the One UI 6.21 yes working very perfectly internet data the mobile data the network working very perfectly although also i have checked the live translator calls which was working really perfectly these are features coming with the latest one ui 6.21 and yes working with this port on the galaxy note 20. now if you are having galaxy note 20 4g variant or galaxy note 20 5g variant either if you have galaxy note 20 ultra 4g variant or if you have 5g variant in case if you have exynos chipset mobile phone and you want to have this rom then must watch the video follow the steps easy steps you will get the rom this rom is not for the snapdragon now do not forget to like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed yet Click or tap the bell icon, click or tap the select all. Thank you so much. And I hope you will get help by this video. Keep sharing it with all. Thank you. Now let's start the, the flashing procedure. Let me tell you one more thing that the procedure is same for the Galaxy Note 20 or Note 20 Ultra, either 4G or 5G variant. Only the uh, Odin pack files are different. How to download those files let me show you on my computer screen now here all about the volcano rom version 2 also i have provided all these features in my video description you can read the description to know about this rom this rom is taken from the s22 ultra porting it for the galaxy note 20 series now operating system is one ui 6.1 yes Camera fully functional, yes, fully functional Galaxy AI feature all are operational. This ROM is coming, default device is certified and all the banking application that I download and I check was opening, was running without any issue. The for Google Photos, we are getting unlimited storage and many things more this is the most favorite rom for the galaxy note 20 and note 20 ultra definitely if you have exynos chipset definitely go for it you will like and you will love with this rom the single rom file links provided this is the single rom file click the link download it and this will be uh, will, will will be working on galaxy note 20 or note 20 ultra now about the odin pack I have mentioned the model also. You have to check your mobile phone model, then accordingly download it. The Odin pack file for Galaxy Note 20 5G. In case if you have Note 20 5G, go for this link, right? In case if you have Galaxy Note 20 4G, currently my mobile phone is this one. Model number is N980F. 
Odin pack available click the link and download this Odin pack in case if you have Galaxy Note 20 Ultra having 5G model number mansion click the link and download the Odin pack in case if you have Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 4G model number is N985F click the link and download the Odin pack file right and rest all the things are mentioned but I will show how to flash the ROM just follow the steps you will get the ROM this is the developer name who have done a hard work supporting it this ROM for the Galaxy Note 20 now I will move towards my mobile my downloaded folder first of all if you haven't installed the Samsung USB driver then first download this Samsung USB driver on your on your windows and then double click this single file install it first on your windows and then this is the volcano rom and let me tell you that this volcano rom having extension tar this file cannot be supposed to flash with the custom recovery this file can be flashed with the odin this one the odin pack also coming with the tar extension format so both files the rom file and the odin pack file will be fly will be flash with the help of the odin right these two files cannot be installed from the uh, custom recovery these are with coming with the tar format now first of all extract the odin 3.14.1 and open the extracted folder of the odin then double click the odin file click ok on this window the odin will open and on odin click bl first then go to your downloaded folder and uh, click on volcano v2 rom then click open on odin click ap then select the odin pack file click on the odin pack file then open and after this the odin is ready waiting to flash the things on the mobile phone coming back towards the mobile phone now we need a data cable also for flushing you know, use a good quality of data cable right on the mobile phone now let me inform that i am doing the procedure from the scratch those who don't know about the uh, uh, custom rom flashing they can get easily by watching this video so first of all you need to check the mobile phone battery it must be charged to maximum so the, uh, the mobile phone can get the rom easily connect your mobile phone with the internet either if you are having wi-fi or either if you are having mobile data then turn it on now you need to save all the internal storage data those who have any custom rom just they will save all the data first those who are on the volcano rom version 1 which was uh, having one ui 6 which released uh, earlier they are also supposed to save all the internal storage data in both case the, the the things will get formatted and the data will get formatted save the data must save the data then go back go to settings and then go to lock screen select the lock screen swipe to turn it off then go back and go to accounts and backup then manage accounts and sync your google account once then must remove it and in case if you are having google uh, the samsung account must remove the samsung account also otherwise the things will not get flash must remove the samsung account then go back and who oh, i will go to my about phone of my mobile phone so currently i have galaxy note 20 my model number is right now n980f oblique ds i have dual sim set so both i mean numbers are mentioned over here now i will tap the software information my mobile phone is updated to the latest stock firmware one ui version 5.1 and y13 this is the build number currently the latest one I will tap the build number for seven times one two three four five six seven because we need to unlock the bootloader first then we'll go back to settings and we'll scroll down if the internet is on i mean to say the mobile phone is connected with the internet after tapping the developer options you will see over here oem unlocking right turn it on tap enable now i can power off the mobile phone after doing all the things that i have just shown now power off the mobile phone the mobile phone must be properly power off 
Now we need to boot the mobile phone into Odin or download mode. Check the other side of this cable must be connected with computer. So press and hold the volume up key, volume down key. When you see that mobile phone gets power off properly, then connect the cable with the mobile phone. You will see a warning screen immediately. Release the both keys. And on this screen, those who have already unlocked bootloader, they can go ahead and flash the ROM. Those who do not have an unlock bootloader, on this screen, we need to unlock the bootloader first. You, you can see that long press volume up key to the in, in device unlock mode. Now press and hold the volume up key for little long. The other screen will appear, then release the volume up key. A volume up key once if to unlock the bootloader. Now we, I as I press the volume up key once, the mobile phone will get reboot. Immediately I will press and hold the volume up key, volume down key to let the mobile phone boot into download mode once again. I will not let my mobile phone to start booting to stock from here. Otherwise, we have to repeat the procedure once again that I have done before booting the my mobile phone into uh, bootloader mode, right? Press the volume up key once the mobile phone will reboot it and then immediately press and hold the volume up key, volume down key immediately release both keys when you see one screen over here then press the volume up key once the mobile phone will boot it into download mode or Odin mode this is the Odin mode screen which is supposed to be like this kg state must be checking kg state must be checking if you see kg state pre normal then you need to boot mobile phone back to stock firmware and repeat the procedure of OEM unlocking then must see that FRP lock must be off. OEM lock must be off in a brackets you will see U, right? So the Odin mode is uh, appears on the mobile phone. Mobile phone booted finally into Odin mode, connected already with the computer. Coming back towards the computer screen, you will see the Odin already connected or already detected the mobile phone as I connected with my computer. Now simply come down here and click on start. The flashing will get started and it will take a little long time. So now we have to wait. The flashing is about to be done. And after flashing done, the mobile phone will get reboot automatically and the Odin will show pass message. You can see that mobile phone automatically rebooted. You can disconnect the cable when you see this screen or Samsung logo and you can close the Odin from here. Now here I would like to inform that uh, it is happening with my mobile phone and maybe it will happen or maybe it will not. The Odin when it shows pass message the mobile phone will get reboot. So the mobile phone is supposed to boot into TWRP screen with the volcano rom mansion and will uh, will doing the flashing thing and then it will ask to press the volume up key to format all thing right and then after pressing the volume up key the mobile phone will start formatting then it will reboot once again and it will boot once again into twrp screen to start doing flashing thing again then it will auto reboot and then the mobile phone will start booting to the One UI 6.1 ROM. Now, my mobile phone is not doing that for the first, uh, first procedure flashing the ROM. Mobile phone not booting to that recovery screen, which is supposed to ask, press the volume up key to formatting all thing, right? But instead of booting my mobile phone into part 1 TWRP screen with the Volcane ROM screen, asking the volume up key my mobile phone straight booting into second part of the twrp screen that is why it is stuck on this logo now i have to reflash the rom once again and that is why i want to inform that if this happens with your mobile phone simply hold the data cable first connect the cable with mobile phone press all the three keys same time when mobile phone reboots release the power key release the power key now wait let the custom warning screen appears release both keys volume up key volume down key 
then press the volume up key once to boot the mobile phone once again into Odin mode. I already Odin detected my mobile phone will tap, uh, will click BL, then will uh, go to my downloaded folder and will select the Volcane V2 TAR file. It will click open. Then we'll click AP, we'll select the uh, Odin pack file, we'll click open, done, then click start to reflash the things once again. Now wait here. The flashing is about to be end. I have flashed uh, the ROM second time. This time you will see mobile will do the things normally that it is supposed to do that. Just wait and watch. Reset. Odin shows pass message. I will exit the Odin. And I will uh, power off my computer. I am done from my computer. And just uh, look uh, to the mobile phone. Disconnect, disconnecting the cable from the mobile phone. And the mobile phone will boot into TWRP this time. Here we go. Yes. Now this is what it is supposed to be done before but it wasn't so we have to repeat the procedure if you see the first thing which happened with my mobile phone in case if have it happens with yours this is the procedure to repeat it and uh, to do the things normally that it will be done now so we just wait here when it asks to press the volume up key for format, so we have to press the volume up key. Here we go. Press volume up key to format your device. Press down key to for skip formatting. Now we have to do formatting. Press the volume up key. And now the thing started. And the mobile phone will now reboot once again into TWRP. Here we go. Yes. Script done. And now. The mobile phone will boot, start booting into One UI 6.1 ported ROM. As you can see that Samsung Galaxy logo appears. The latest logo, well you can see that the logo is not located properly but that doesn't matter as far the One UI 6.1 ROM is working perfectly. This does not matter. Now wait, the first boot will take a little time. First boot completed. Now we can complete the setup screen. ROM caught flash perfectly. S Pen just uh, may, uh, want to make sure that S Pen is working with the One UI six uh, One UI six point one ported ROM. I will go to my mobile phone settings. Then we'll go to about phone. Now uh, you can see that Galaxy Note 20 model number got changed because this uh, ROM is ported from the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Both IME numbers are present over here. We'll tap the software information. And now finally you will see that mobile phone got updated to the ported One UI 6.1 Android 14. And this is the build number Volcane ROM version 2. Once again, thanks to the developer for the hard working with the ROM, putting it on for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I hope you got helped by this video. Do not forget to like the video. Do not forget to subscribe my channel. Click or tap the bell icon. Click or tap the select all. Keep sharing it and uh, stick with my channel. Thank you once again. We'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.